Good day, everybody. Welcome to Grace Ministries USA. Welcome. Today's devotional. He did this so that the requirement of the law would be fully satisfied for us who no longer follow our sinful nature, but instead follow the Spirit. Romans chapter 8, verse 4. Did you ever find yourself doing the thing you don't want to do or thinking the thought you don't want to think? The Apostle Paul described a similar struggle in Romans 7. Yet there's no single mention of the Holy Spirit in this entire chapter. In Romans chapter 8, however, Paul made at least 20 references to the Holy Spirit. In chapter seven, we see Paul trying to live the Christian life in his own strength. But by chapter eight, he realizes that help is available. He wises up. There is someone who will enable us to live the life God has called us to live. Could be your wife, friend, Father, and that is the Holy Spirit moving through them. Paul wrote, God declared an end to sin's control over us by giving his son as a sacrifice for our sins. If you're a spiritual person, then you'll naturally want to do spiritual things. It's in you. For instance, some people get up in the morning and make spending time with God a priority. They have a passion for it. While they're driving, they might listen to a Christian radio station or create a daily devotional. (laughs) They may worship music or join a Bible study, listen to a podcast. They attend church regularly and are even involved in a small group. As a result, they're getting stronger and stronger and stronger spiritually. In contrast, there are some who neglect Bible study and prayer. They listen to talk radio while they're in their car. They'll go to church, but only occasionally when they feel like it. And they're not involved in a small group. They don't help people. And it is a wonder why then, why some people do better spiritually than others. And this is not a judgment or a dig or a condemnation or anything like that. The best way to stop going backward in your walk with Christ is to keep moving forward. This is not a works-based righteousness. Rather, it's a working righteousness. And the way to do it is with the help of the Holy Spirit. We're going to pray. God, we pray, Father, that as we go about our week, Lord, that you let your Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, God, that you let it fall on us, on our homes, on our cities, on our counties, on our relationships, God, all around us. Let the Holy Spirit fall in a way that only you can do, Lord, and make it so apparent in everybody's life, God, make it so apparent that there is no doubt in their mind that it is of you, Lord. It says in the Bible that in the last days, your spirit will be poured out I believe, Lord, that we are witnessing that now, God. And I thank you for the opportunity to be able to help people, encourage people, and do a daily devotional. God, thank you so much for the gifts that you gave me and the courage to be able to act and move forward. And that's my hope and prayer for everybody else. Courage, God. I pray that you give them the courage to do the things that they want to do in their lives. In Jesus' mighty, mighty name, Heavenly Father. Holy Spirit, I pray, come now. Amen, God. Let your Spirit fall. Let the Holy Spirit fall, God. Have your way. Have your way with us. Have your way with this channel, God. It's yours. Let it be what it is that you want it to be. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And God bless you guys. Give us a thumbs up or a like if you heard something that you liked if we helped you in any way we're trying to grow the channel it's not about ryan it's not about grace ministries it's about reaching people in the name of 
Jesus, please help us. That's our passion. That's our mission. That's our hope. We need help. We need thumbs up. We got to grow. We got to tell people about Jesus before it's too late. That's my heart. That's my heart, guys. I'm out here in the rain, so I got to get going. But God bless you. I hope you have a good week. Amen and amen.